Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the Here's What You're Looking At mod in Minecraft 1.13, also known as the Kuwip mod, as it, as it says right there. That's how you say it, by the way. Kuwip. So there is that. But nevertheless, this mod is a really cool mod that basically shows you well, what you're looking at, it actually starts off from, well, yeah, I think that's how you say it, I, I don't know, but it's the what am I looking at mod, and it's from way back, this is a port of that mod, so that's why in the title it says how to install that mod as well, because they're the same mod, this is literally just a port of that mod. So, nevertheless, let's go ahead and get it installed in 1.13, but wait, there's a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host, you go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get an awesome 1.13.2 modded server, whether it's running mod packs, whether it's running Forge, whether it's running plugins, you can do it all with Apex Minecraft hosting, so much so that we host our own network Minecraft server on them, play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, you can check out Apex the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an awesome server for just a few bucks a month. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and once you're here, you want to go to the File tab right there. See that File tab? And we want to make sure that this is for version 1.13.2. As we can see, 1.13.2 there. So so once we've confirmed that this is the 1.13.2 version, we can come over here and click on this little gray download button next to it, and it will open up this little like prompt box. Now, if you're on Google Chrome, it won't open that. It'll pull up something in the bottom left of your screen that you need to check out. However, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it pulls it up in the center of the screen. As long as it says .jar at the end, we can go ahead and save the file, and on Google Chrome, in the bottom left, we will click Keep to keep the file. Now, we're not done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. So go to the third link down below and it will take you here. This is our tutorial on installing Forge. However, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Forge. So once you're here, go ahead and click on this green download button. It will then take you over to Forge's website where we do want to confirm that this is for MC version 1.13.2. See that? MC 1.13.2 there. And then we want to come down here and click on the installer button. Once we click on that installer button, it will take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop! Don't click anything on this page. All you want to do is wait six seconds, and in the top right up here, you'll see a little red skip button up here. Click that little red skip button, and then it will start downloading Forge. However, you'll need to keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left, and you need to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. You are 100% safe to do that as long as it uh, does end in .jar, which ours does, so we can save the file. Now, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we have two things. We have the Kuwip mod, or the Here's What You're Looking At mod, and we have Forge 1. 1.13.2. If these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Click on the Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. See that little Windows icon? Click on that and then type in Downloads right like so. You'll then have this Downloads folder. Click on that and then in here you will find your mods and forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we need to start off with Forge, so go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? No worries. Go to the description down below. You need to download the Java Development Kit here. So this is our tutorial on how to install the Java Development Kit. It goes through everything, including how to get the right version. Everything you need to know about getting the Java JDK is covered here. If you still can't install Forge, it's still erroring out. If you already had the Java JDK, you had Java Platform SE Binary and it still wouldn't work, you need the JAR fix, which you can find again in the description down below. Come here and this walks you through how to use the JAR fix. It's a very simple download it and run it basically and then you will be up and good to go to be able to again, once you've got all of that done, right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. Once you've got the Forge mod system installer open here. We can go ahead and click on install client, click OK, and now it will install Forge in 1.13.2. If this doesn't work, just go run Minecraft 1.13.2 with no Forge installed, no Optifine installed, no mods installed at all, and then you'll be able to install Forge. But as you can see, successfully install client profile for Forge. Awesome. Click OK. Now we need to install the Here's What You're Looking At mod. To do this, we again want to click on that Windows icon in the top left. For me, it's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon. On. And this time, though, we want to type in run. Once we've opened up the run application here, we can go ahead and type in percent, APP, DATA, percent. 
percent app data percent exactly like that and then go ahead and click OK it will then open up our roaming folder here where we then want to go into dot Minecraft and in here you should have a mods folder but Nick what if I don't have a mods folder what do I do well it's okay don't freak out just right click create a new folder and title that folder mods mods exactly like this all lowercase then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder and drag the here's what you're looking at mod into your mods folder pretty simple stuff once you've done that we can go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher here now don't go ahead and smash play don't do it stop yourself whoa what are you doing don't click play that fast we need to make sure we're clicking on the right version so we need to click on this little green arrow next to the play button here select the forge version and then you should be able to click play if you don't have a forge version what do you do no worries click on the three lines in the top right here click on launch options and then you want to click on add new right here then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name mine play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because that is the best Minecraft 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse. That is actually our own server. It's got jobs. It's got ranks. It's got an incredible community. It's got everything you want in an awesome survival server. I promise. We've got player mods. Everything. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. You can check out more information in the description. And uh, yeah, come join the best survival server in the multiverse. But nevertheless, next to version here, we can go ahead and click on that and find Forge 1.13.2. If you have more than one version, click on the one with the highest number at the end of it. In our case, 0.44 is much higher than 0.9. So we want to click on 0.44. I'm going to change my resolution. That is something you don't have to do, but I do just so you can see once we get in game. Now we want to come back over here after we click save. See that? We clicked, uh, we clicked save over here. Save. Then we want to come back over to the news tab, and then we want to click on the little green arrow next to the play button, and then find the play.breakdowncraft profile we created. Click on that, and it should say 1.13.2-4s right there under the play button. It does. Click play, and finally, Minecraft 1.13.2 is opening with the Here's What You Were Looking At mod installed. It's actually a pretty easy mod to showcase, because literally, I just get in game and show you what you're looking at. <laughs> but this is actually, I I'm glad to see the What Are You Looking At mod continued and expanded because this is a mod that very 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 much so is integral to many mod packs it's something that most mod packs have and most mod packs want if we go ahead and click on the mods tab here we can see it's even still called the what are you looking at mod right there here's what you were looking at is a ui improvement and aimed at providing you get the point this is the what are you looking at mod here but then we can go ahead and click done and then jump into single player and it'll show us anything and everything we're looking at and uh yeah that'll be that now this is i really like this mod especially for modded minecraft compared and used with other mods because let's say you're playing an ic2 and you've forgotten something well with, with this mod you can run up to it look at it and it, and it tells you as you can see grass block there and then we can come over here and we can see the cow it even shows us the health of the cow and then we can fly over here and we can see the leaves and we can see the oak and we can see the grass and all of that stuff and as you can see it says minecraft under there let's say you did have ic2 installed it would say IC2 instead of Minecraft. That way you knew which mod it was from. So that's why this is a very helpful mod. That's why I'm glad to see it updated to 1.13.2. Whew, I need to add some more RAM to Minecraft there, don't I? But nevertheless, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy the Here's What You Were Looking At mod. Also known as the What Am I Looking At mod. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Subscribe for more awesome mod videos. This mod literally came out like a day ago. So if you want to know as soon as mods come up, subscribe to the channel as we do videos on them literally right as they come out. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.